Hello everyone. My name is Harshit Bhutra and you're watching Digital Sun City. On this channel, I make videos related to WordPress and digital marketing. So, if you want to learn more of WordPress and digital marketing, then you can press the subscribe button below. That way, you'll be notified as soon as I publish a new video. So now, let's get started with this video. Now, in this video, I'll be showing you how you can use white label feature in the Astra Pro theme to completely remove all the Astra Pro branding and then replace it by some of your own personalized branding. Now, if you don't know what white label feature is all about, then let me tell you uh, the white label feature will enable you to change all of the Astra Pro's branding. So once you are into your WordPress dashboard, you'll see that there are certain places where Astra Pro is written. Like if you go to appearance, you can see Astra options, Astra starter sites. If you go to themes, you'll see that th this is written active Astra. So if you want to replace all of that by your own personalized theme, personalized plugins, then you can do that. Astra Pro gives you the ability to do that. Now, if you want to do it, then you need to go to appearance and then click on Astra options. Now here you can see all the options available to Astra Pro user. Make sure you have an active Astra Pro license if you want to do it. Now in order to activate white label, you can see that this white label feature here. So just click on settings. And now here you can add all of those, uh, replace all of those details from this place. So as you can see, you have to write your author name. So let's say my name is Harshit. So I'll write Harshit here. Now you have to enter your agency author URL. So my URL is, you can use any URL here. Then you have to enter your license link. So I don't have a license link yet, but let's just make something. And then here you have to replace the plugin name. So if you want to make the plugin name something like Harshit Pro plugin, you can do that. You can enter a description if you want. Let's say I'll add XYZ. Then you can enter the theme name. So I'm writing DS theme. Then you can enter any theme description as well. Then if you want, you can also add a theme, theme screenshot uh, that will be placed there, but it's not required. So I'm skipping it for now. Then you can enter the plugin name. Then again description then there is this feature as well enable white label so i'll tell you its use as well but for now let's click on save and see what are the changes so here i have to enter a url then you have to click on save changes and you'll see that all the changes have been saved now so as you can see here Astra options was written and now it has been replaced by DS theme. Here Astra sites were written. Now it has been replaced by DS demo sites. And if I go to themes, you'll see that uh, the active is DS theme. Uh, this image can be replaced by, like I told you, this image can be replaced by just adding a screenshot uh, at that place. You can see by Harshit DS theme, the description is XYZ. So as you can see, I've completely replaced all of these details. Uh, similarly, you can also replace all of these details. Now there is one catch. What if someone goes to this option here, DS theme and sees this option, you know, white label. So do you know what you can even remove this? So in order to remove this white label thing from here, you can go to, again, you can go to the settings option and then you can just click on enable white label and then click on save changes. That's it. It will be actually removed from here so now no one will ever know that this theme was not designed by you you can see ds theme here you can see all of the things have been completely changed there is no word related to astra on the whole theme now what if you want to go and get back all those features because now you don't see that option so in order to deactivate all of these things what you have to do is you just have to go to simply uh, the plugins actually so let's go to plugins and you just have to deactivate this astra pro plugin so you can see this plugin here ds demo sites and then there is this plugin uh, this is an additional plugin astra widgets which is not required so you can deactivate it if you want you can in fact remove it it is just acting as a plugin uh, not the astra actually so you can see this has harshit pro theme uh, harshit pro plugin so you just have to click on deactivate 
and then you have to activate it again or you can do anything but the thing is that uh, that feature has now been uh, replaced by original Astra branding so this is how you can do all of these things if you want to change all of these things again then you can just simply activate that plugin again and make all the changes it will be just like it happened before so there are no issues with using this plugin this is a wonderful plugin if you want to hide that if you want to hide from your client that you have used some other theme or you have used some other plugins for making their theme or you have used some pre-installed templates so this is a great way and this feature comes with astra pro plugin so you must use astra pro theme for it so i hope you have enjoyed this video and learned how you can use astra pro theme for this purpose i hope you like this video it takes me a lot of efforts to create free videos like these for all of you people so please consider to subscribe and if you have any questions or suggestions then you can directly go to our website digitalsuncity.com slash help and then fill in the contact form with your questions i'll reply to that as soon as possible thank you for watching this video hey before you quit i have an amazing offer for you i am giving away free access to all of my digital resources to all of my viewers these digital resources can be divided in two types the first thing is layouts. This includes hundreds of templates for Divi, Elementor, Visual Composer and a lot of royalty free graphics which you can use on any website. Now the second thing is premium WordPress video tutorials. In the coming weeks, I am creating video courses for all the major WordPress themes and plugins. This will include video tutorials for WordPress, Divi, Astra, Elementor, Visual Composer and lot more. So as you can see, I have already started working on them. Now, to get all of these premium digital resources, you have to go to my website digitalsuncity.com slash VIP and put in your email address. And then you'll receive an email which will contain all of these things. That's it. So go to the link in the description right now and claim all of these resources instantly. I am waiting for you to get my digital resources for free.